Are you in pursuit of a therapist who can help you to get the support that you need, but you're not quite sure where to go or where to get started? This video is going to teach you six things to look for when you are in that first session with a therapist to make sure that it is a good connection and this therapist is going to be good for you. And also make sure you stay until the end because I have an added bonus for you today. And also I'm restarting this YouTube channel. So there will be new episodes every Thursday. So make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe word to make sure that you get notified every Thursday. So without further ado, first question that you need to ask yourself when you are seeking a counselor and when you go into a situation with a new counselor. Um, first, the question is safety. Do you feel safe? Um, do I feel like I can trust their guidance, look at their credibility as far as like their credentialing, um, maybe whether they are part of a counseling service or they have experience within your issues, which we'll get into a little bit later, but this is something that I highly, highly recommend looking for actually not even recommend. This is something that is a must. You must make sure that you feel safe in a counseling situation um, when you enter into it. Okay, next one is trust. Do they seem approachable? Do I feel like I can ask them any question and really feel like they'll give me an open and honest answer? We really need to make sure that you are comfortable in this environment if it doesn't seem like something that you can trust and open up to or it seems like oh maybe they're going to judge me i think we all well at least most of us in really have that feeling like oh maybe they're going to judge me we test the waters a little bit and that helps us to know whether whether our our um, assumption or judgment is right um, so if you test the waters a little bit and you're like, I just, I don't know if I can trust this person or feel really comfortable with this person. Um, I also see it sometimes with like male and female interactions. If you are a male and you have a female therapist, you're a female and you have a male therapist, maybe there are things that you want to talk about. And maybe it's not even that that person is a bad person or, or it's just something that you just don't feel like you can trust them the way that you need to or open up with them the way that you need to. There's no hard feelings about this. Really just make sure that you're going to somebody that you can 100% open up to because that's going to lead to your greatest progress. Third, we wanna look at communication. Can they help me understand what's going on with me and help me build a solid plan for our time together? I know it can be really scary when you're entering in these situations, and so communication is key. So when my clients first come in or it's the first time I've met with them, my first question is, first off, how's your day going? Because we all need to figure that out and just kind of settle in a little bit and see how their mood is coming in. But the next question is, what brings you in today? What are some things that you'd really like to see addressed during our time together? So right off the bat, communication, these are the goals, these are the expectations. We're going to be working towards independence on something. So communication is very essential um, and they can help you to understand what's going on with you. So are they clear about what they're seeing in you? Maybe you sit, like you talk for like 10 minutes and then they can just like solidify it all into like one sentence. This is really funny when it happens with clients because they're like, yes, exactly. Because sometimes we just have all this garbage going on in our head and we're thinking about a million different things. And so it can be really hard to just narrow it down. So a therapist who can clearly communicate that back to you is gonna be really helpful for you. Next, we wanna look at their capabilities. Do they know what they're talking about? And um, specifically, regarding my area. So I have been asked this in um, the first session with someone. Um, it actually happens pretty frequently where we sit down and I say, I give my brief introduction and I say, do you have any questions for me before we get started today? And they've asked me, do you have experience in this specific area? And that's a very important question to ask your therapist, um, especially if you know that this is something that you really want an expert in your area. Um, and also, for me, I also say, 
Um, maybe I don't have experience in that area, but I also have supervision and there's somebody who does have a lot of experience and I'll be working closely with that person. So right off the bat, there's that clear communication again. So making sure that you know their capabilities, know their limitations, and you're comfortable with that level. Next, um, number five is, are they caring? Do they check in with you about your goals that you set from the start? And this is just a, a, a nice way of checking your, your growth and your progress and knowing that they're interested. They actually care about the growth and progress that you're making. You're not just shooting the breeze together. Um, they actually you know, care and can communicate that to you. Um, number six, six fingers, there we go. Um, is that they are progressive toward independence. Um, my job as a therapist is to make it so you don't need me anymore. Seems kind of funny, but I'm basically working myself out of the job. That's my goal. So if you're, again, with the shooting the breeze thing, if you're just hanging out and you're just lollygagging, I mean, that's a fun word to say. But if you're just talking and hanging out, it, it may not be necessarily working towards a goal. Now, I will say there's rapport building where you do need to feel comfortable with that person and some people are a little bit more shy to open up. And that's a completely natural level. But if you start to notice, you know, we're really not working towards any goals. I'm just coming in here and hanging out. Like I could hang out with anybody. That's not the intention of counseling and that's not really what counseling looks like. So if you're with a therapist or, you know, or you're seeking a therapist, make sure it's somebody who is trying to work themselves out of the job because we want you to be independent. Our goal is to make you independent and able to handle your mental health on your own in a successful manner. So I know there is a lot more that I could talk about when it comes to like looking for a therapist. If you have found a therapist or are looking for one um, and there are certain things that have been your criteria and you had to ask these questions um, to yourself and maybe I've missed them, just go ahead and write them in the comments below. Um, help us all out by sharing a little bit about of those um, tips or ideas that people can um, learn from. So leave those in the comments below. And I promise you a freebie. So one of the things to help you figure out whether, um, whether it's a good fit is to have a consultation. And so I'm inviting you to have a consultation with me, whether it is for counseling or coaching. This is a a free opportunity, like no strings attached. You get to just have a conversation with me and um, I'm gonna ask you some questions. You can ask me some questions and we'll see if we are a good fit for each other. And from there we can either go along together or I can recommend a better service for you um, and let you go on your way. So if that was helpful, please um, like, share, comment below, and then also subscribe to the channel so that um, you're notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.